You found a gun, and again, we talked about this a bit last week, but I want to touch on this briefly because you said a couple things that I think are critical to factory before we get into interchange. And it was, number one, you found a gun that you like. That's key. It it really doesn't matter what gun it is, right? So a lot of people are like, well, what gun are you using? And then they'll go use it, and they may not have success. Find a gun that you're comfortable with. It doesn't matter what the ergo rating is. It doesn't matter what the vertical recoil is. Find one that you like to shoot and that you're comfortable with. I can promise you that the extra 7 ergo, if you modify it some other way, isn't going to be life and death. It may be in 1 out of 100 games, but it's more about comfort. Maybe you have a really easy time finding ADARs on scabs. Maybe it's an AK-103. Maybe it's an SKS. doesn't matter. But at this point in the wipe, my advice is, and the strategy that I use when loading up for a map like Factory, which is maximum 5 PMCs, and you said it, in your ADAR you run M995. Well, my guess is that you don't take all of your M995 in your TAC rig. I'm guessing you at least have a stack in your Gamma or a Mag or something, because it is very expensive. But, however much... I would say really good ammo you're willing to afford regardless of your level. Like if you're over 10, I think it's worth investing in at least a mag, at least 30 rounds or something of good ammo. Because if you run into the geared person on factory, it can become just an absolute brutal experience really quick. And more and more now, you're going to run into people that are wearing face shields, that are wearing at least class 4 armor. Oftentimes they're wearing a USEC vest at the very least. Which has a ton of hit points to get through. And you really need those high pin rounds. If you do run into a, a PMC like that. And I can tell you from experience. I was running an MPX. And I was running the PST uh, GZH I think. Ammo. Which is decent ammo. But I died two games in a row. As a fully kitted PMC. MPX, not so good ammo. I wasn't using the new um, high pan ammo that you can get from Crapper, the 7N19 or 1.4 or whatever that new ammo is that came out for 9mm. But I wasn't running that, and I died two games in a row to someone wearing an Alton helmet because I usually am aiming for the chest and the head, and this thing just absorbs that ammo. You know, he's wearing probably a class 5 or class 6 uh, thorax protection. And then he was wearing an Alton. And it was not the same guy both times, but in two separate raids. And I made the mistake, and I paid for it, and lost a slick armor in one case, and I lost a killer armor in the next one, and then everything else that I took in. So my advice is, buy the best ammo you can afford, at least one magazine full of it, if you're going to be running factory. because most people are going to be geared there now and there are good inexpensive ammo options and i think three or four shows ago we talked about our favorite guns for budget loadouts make sure you check those out if you're going to run factory because if you can't afford great ammo make sure you're going in with a good budget 